guys, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 10th to the 16th of January. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Taurus, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the King of Swords, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands in reverse, okay? So your challenge here has a lot to do with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Um, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is someone that you're dealing with. Even if you're not dealing with an air sign, um, this person could be someone who you know, they have a very analytical type of energy, okay? Very logical type of energy, less emotional, more logical. We're gonna clarify the King of Swords for you and see what the important message is in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Taurus, you have the Two of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Swords. So it looks like in the recent past, um, you may have decided to um, disconnect from this person or maybe they disconnected from you. I do sense that this person started to become closed off to you in the recent past, and there may have been some sort of change, um, a change in direction when it came to maybe how you and this person were planning on moving forward. Um, we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Chariot, the Ace of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. I feel really strongly in the present moment there's a desire to move forward. Maybe you're being called to move forward, um, but it looks like you want some sort of truth and clarity about a specific person could be a fire sign here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We're going to clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the death, the star, and the wheel of fortune. I do feel like something here is going to change and transform for you. For some of you, there is going to be some sort of ending here in the, in the near future, okay? And the reason why this ending may be happening is because there's some sort of significant life-changing event that may be coming in for you. I do feel like this change uh, that is coming for you in the near future is something that may be a part of your destiny. We're going to clarify and get more information in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So what you don't see coming is the fact that a lot of you are going to be disconnecting completely from someone here. I do feel like this is somebody here that you thought at one point um, you were going to have a stable life with them, things were going to work out for you and this person, um, but it looks like you're letting go of this person. And the reason why you may be deciding to let go of this person is because this person can't really give you what you need, okay? And what you need right now is stability. That's what you're um, you're looking, you're looking for. That's what it, it's showing me here. Okay. So what you don't see coming is there is going to be some sort of disconnect for, you know, a good period of time. And I feel like the reason why this disconnect is happening, Taurus, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I feel like there's something better for you out there. Okay. A lot of you may disagree with me, but that's what I'm seeing in the cards. Okay. So what you don't see coming is that you will be most likely letting something go. It doesn't matter if it's love related or, you know, financially related. You're letting go of some sort of situation because it's not giving you what you need. Okay. That's what I, that's what you don't see coming. Now let's get into your reading and uh, let's see what's going on for you. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is clarified by the Hermit. You have the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. 
So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with somebody that you've had on your mind for quite some time. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of unexpected change here. Okay. And I feel like this unexpected change may be challenging for you because you may be somebody who doesn't like change, but spirit is saying that this change is very much needed. Okay. There's something here about, um, a separation between you and a specific person is very much needed because some sort of change needs to happen between you and this person. And, you know, possibly the only way this, this change can happen, Taurus, is if you're in separation, okay? And that's why your ruler, Venus, is currently going retrograde, okay? So let's clarify the recent past. Let's clarify the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So it looks like for many of you um, in the recent past, there's something here about someone here disconnecting. Okay, You may have had a decision to make here. And as a result of needing to make some sort of decision and um, getting truth and clarity about a decision that needed to be made, someone here chose to maybe disconnect here in the recent past and become closed off. Now, in the present moment, it looks like a lot of you want truth and clarity in regards to um, whether or not you're going to move forward with a specific person. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Magician. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. So I'm really strongly getting in the present moment that um, somebody here is coming back. Okay, someone who's been on and off with you and in and out. Um, they're coming back and they, you know, they want truth and clarity from you. I don't feel like this is you wanting truth and clarity from them. I think they want truth and clarity from you. And what they want to know is, you know, are they open to working? Like, are you open to working on things with them? Are you open to bringing stability? Because I think a lot of you right now are assuming or you believe that you're not going to have a reconciliation, that things are not going to work out between you and this person. So there's something here about in the present moment, somebody coming back wanting to um, know whether or not you're, you're interested in working things out and, you know, finally moving forward. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the present moment for Taurus. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords. You have the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. Yeah. Somebody here feels a really strong connection with you. Okay. It could be a, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I am really strongly getting that this person wants truth and clarity. Like, you know, are we going to move forward? Um, are we going to work on things? Are we going to be able to kind of, you know, move forward past maybe some sort of, um, issue that actually led us into separation. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing here in the present moment for you. Now in the near future, I do see something is going to come to an end. Um, we're going to clarify the death card and we're going to see, you know, what's coming to an end, what's changing for you. Um, I do feel like this ending Taurus that's happening for you in the near future has a lot to do with your destiny and it needs to happen in order for spirit to make room for something bigger and better to come into your life. So let's clarify the death and let's see what is transforming and changing in your life, possibly in the near future. So the death is clarified by the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the uh, king of pentacles. So I feel like this is someone here who is going to come in and make an offer, or you may decide to make an offer, um, to someone. But what I'm really strongly getting here is the reason why you may be lacking in taking action in the present moment, or your person may be take, you know, lacking in taking action towards you is because right now Venus is retrograde and Venus is going to be retrograding, which you know, is your ruler astrologically is going to be retrograding until the 26th. Okay. And whenever Venus is retrograde, it affects um, the divine feminine. It affects love. It affects finances. So there's something here that you may need to transform within yourself, which I feel like you're, you are going to be doing, but the transformation that you're going to be going through in the near future is going to take you into a completely new direction. So your life may you know, move into a completely new direction is what I'm seeing here. But it's also um, 
I'm also seeing here, Taurus, it's a part of your growth. Like this is something that you need to go through um, in order to kind of get to the next level. And that's what you've been wanting. Three of Wands has been in reverse. So you've been confronted with delays. You've been confronted with, you know, resistance, not being able to move forward um, because now is not the time. Okay. But in the near future, there will be a transformation that you've already kind of gone with gone within yourself and have done and that's what's going to lead you to move into a new direction now let's clarify the uh wheel of fortune tell me more about the important changes that are coming in for taurus in the near future now one of the things i want to say before i clarify um these cards i'm really strongly getting in the near future that whatever this change is that you're going to be experiencing this has a lot to do with your destiny okay so there's a reason why something here is changing and transforming you may not understand it completely in the near future but it is part of your destiny so tell me more about the wheel of fortune for taurus so the wheel of fortune is clarified by the queen of cups the ace of cups and the star a lot of you in the near future are going to meet somebody new. Okay, I'm getting water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe an Aquarius. Aquarius is really strong here. Um, I do feel like this person is going to offer you love. And the reason why it's going to happen for you in the near future and it's not happening for you now is because the timing isn't right. But whoever this person is that's coming in, it looks like they, they are really serious. They're somebody who can actually offer you the emotional support that you are looking for. I do feel like you were um, connected to somebody here, maybe in your past, that couldn't really give you emotionally what you needed, okay? And spirit has made some sort of changes, and this is why Venus is retrograde. During this Venus retrograde, it's kind of realigning, you know, where you need to be in your life, especially if you have a deep desire. If you have a deep desire to, you know, have more love, um, be with somebody who's more understanding, um, attract somebody who's more understanding. All of these things are going to happen for you when you actually do the inner work and you're actually ready. If you want this and you're not completely 100% ready to receive it, that also may be a reason why it's not happening. But I do see in the near future that you know your future, your healing process is going to come from somebody here who can actually offer you that emotional support that you're seeking. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing in your reading. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get some advice. What is the advice for you? So the advice for you is the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Four of Pentacles. So for many of you, your biggest piece of advice moving forward is to recognize what it is that you want. What is it that you want in your life? I think majority of you watching this want stability. You want structure. You want to be able to apply the you know experiences that you've experienced in life to your life. And there's something here about you needing to hold on to this idea of what you want. There's nothing wrong with knowing what you want. There's nothing wrong with you know, um, saying, look, this is what I want. It's not impossible for you to have what you want, but you also have to do the inner work to prepare for that of which you want to attract in your life. Okay. So I can give you an example. It's like, you know, if I want to attract a new car in my life, well, then I have to get rid of my old one. Okay. So there's something here about you making room for what it is that you want in your life. And that may require you to let something go. Okay. Four of Pentacles is here. Four of Pentacles is about holding on and hoarding things that are not serving us, okay? Um, or holding on to things by being greedy. So there's something here about you needing to make room, letting go of what's no longer serving you and making room for the love that you want and the stability that you want. That's what needs to happen. You need to make room. If you don't make room for something, how is it supposed to come into your life, okay? So Taurus, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.